Hawaii officials recruited a group of American Samoan students to attend a National Guard program here. And it was set to last around five months. However, they were sent home after about five weeks. As it turns out, U.S. nationals are not eligible for the program. Only American citizens. Our Jelani Martinez explains. I was getting used to it, and I loved it there. Dreaming of a military career, 17-year-old Kiana Grace Masuno was one of 24 students who left their homes in American Samoa last month to attend the Hawaii Youth Challenge Academy. I'm getting emotional <clears throat> because hmm, attending your challenge changed, mm, sorry ma'am, changed me and um, I had everything planned out in there. I had my life planned out. Sisters Angelina and Athena Hunkin are also missing the program. I just feel sad because I put all my heart, all my effort into that program, thinking that I will get somewhere in life and to help out my family because they're struggling a lot. I question myself, why? Why did they come and um, recruit us if we weren't... Um, U.S. U.S. Um, citizen. The State's Department of Defense says it made a mistake. Officials recruited the group knowing that U.S. nationals were not allowed in the National Guard program, but they thought they would get a pass. Trying to request that exemption to policy. Let's see if we can have them stay. Uh, but once that was denied, we knew that we, we had to send them back because they would not be allowed to stay or remain. In the program. Parent Carmen Matu'u says she was never made aware of the policy. I had the pamphlet. Nothing like this was told in the beginning. They said your kids will be well taken care of. All you have to do is provide the airfare and then the packing list. The state says it could take up to a year for officials in D.C. to change the policy. Matu'u hopes the requests will be expedited. Their dreams are shattered. It's a big disappointment and it's, uh, it's going to be a mental breakdown for a lot of the kids. Thousands of kids will graduate in a year and there, there's not enough jobs for everyone. And I think the U, the U Challenge can be one of those opportunities for us as a territory. And to be able to change that rule will be so great. That was our Jolani Martinez reporting. The